Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Subnautica. In the last episode, we discovered that. Well, we didn't discover it. We have that beacon now. Proposed the gassy habitat, which is 500 meters down below depth uh, sea level. And uh, that is not where I wanted to go. I need to go over here. And it says does not stack. However, maybe. I don't know. Uh, what I do want to take a look at, though, is some of the other upgrades. Seamoth Solar Charger, Seamoth Perimeter Defense System generates a localized electric field designed to ward off aggressive fauna. Torpedo System, a standard payload delivery system adapted to fight torpedoes. I love all this stuff, but I need more, I need more resources. Um, so that's not something that I can do at the moment. However, as you can see, we have some stuff noted down, and I have taken some notes as well, and we need to go a couple of places. Um... To, to get and do some stuff. And I'm very happy that I grabbed that ruby, by the way, because apparently we need to gather an ingredient in order to unlock the aerogel um, thingy, the aerogel glass, whatever it was called. We need a speci specific ingredient for that. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add the habitat builder quickly to my inventory because I'm pretty sure that with this thing, I can go ahead and build something really cool. Floodlights are cool. Interior, water, filter, and I need aerogel. <laughs> I need aerogel. I'm making that today. Okay? I'm making that today because that's going to be cool. Very, very cool. A bioreactor would also be really awesome. Just making it and having it. But we don't have much that uses power at the moment. So we don't really need that at this point in time. So... We will be getting to that, but first, um, I want to get quickly all of the... Get that out of here, first of all. And I'm going to take the ruby that I have. I think I have two pieces. Um, I also need an outdoor growing bed, which I don't know if these are it. Outdoor grow bed, indoor grow bed. I need outdoor uh, growth bed, exterior grow bed. That's it. That's what I need, apparently, uh, to grow... The thing that we're about to go and get. Now, obviously, I can't place it here. I need to go outside because it is an exterior one. And I think we literally just place it like here. Uh, like so. And that should be that. I have no idea how much... Farming alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roses mm -hmm. and stag root. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, oh yeah, before we leave as well, I want to try and make another uh, depth upgrade. Because it says non-stackable, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, it says non-stackable, yet um, I found some sort of guide thing that said that it's maybe possible to... It looked like it was possible to add more than one. Which would increase the Seamoth to go to the depth of 500 meters. So I do want to make another one, which is titanium ingot and glass. And I do not remember the recipe for glass. That's just some quartz. Okay, let's try that real quick. So let us head on over to the storage. I should have plenty of quartz. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, I really need to organize this more. There we go, four. Uh, probably good enough. Let's go ahead and make some glass. And then I need a titanium ingot. Uh, I'll need another one. I still don't know how I get stalker tooth. A sharp hardened in calcium formation is shared by one of the indigenous creatures. Don't know how to get that. Um, and then I need a titanium ingot. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and then I need more titanium. I really need to, if I find any scrap, I need to grab more titanium because it is used for a lot of stuff and I can't have it off of it, apparently. All right. I also need lithium, don't I? I do have two lithium, though. Hold on. I do have two lithium. Uh, I just saw lithium. Apparently, I missed this in the last episode. So grab that and then grab another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Craft another one of these because then I can make the other plasteel ingot and then we have that. Now I just need diamond and I need this thing and I don't know how to get it, but it's something. It's something. All right, there we go. Boom. Very cool. Uh, so I can go ahead and undo that. I still need that 
still don't know how I get the stalker tooth, like I said, but oh well. Gonna add this to here. Okay. Uh, also gonna add this to here, just so we have the space for it. Um, okay. So, the glass and the titanium ingot. Yep, that should be able to make the depth thingy. Which, hopefully they stack. But, we're gonna find out. Right at this moment. Does it go in? So, I don't know what it means when it says does not stack, when you can have... I mean... I don't know. But now the Seamoths should be able to reach... Like... 500 meters? I'm pretty sure. Oh, but it says 300 at the top. Hmm. Maybe there's a second tier? I don't know. Anyways, I need to go... Uh, where do I need to go again? Wait a minute. Please hold. Is that it? I'm pretty sure this isn't it. Yeah, brain coral. That is definitely not it. Uh... <laughs> Where do I need to go again? Apparently, I need to go northwest. In northwest direction, we are supposedly heading to a um, a mushroom forest, which should have what we need. Uh, mobile vehicle bay fragment. I'll take it because that's titanium, which we do need a lot of. And oh, I'm at 72% health. That's not ideal now, is it? Uh, repair tool, repair tool. There we go. Nope, that's not. Somehow, after this many episodes, I'm still not used to the controls. <laughs> I could change them, but at this point, I'm stopping. Alright, let's go. Northwest. So, it says 300 at the top, which means I assume that we can't actually go any further than that. Creature egg. I thought that was an ore. Uh, anything scannable over here with this thing? There is, actually. Laser cutter fragment. More titanium for me. Love it. Also, can I scan you? Don't know what's gonna occur, but... You know. Might as well. Probably gonna make some great fish food. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, another thing that I found out as well after doing some research... Is the fact that the ore deposits... You know, the big ore deposits... That says, need special tool in order to... To, like, get... Um, basically, we need the mech for that. We need the mech for that, and so... Uh, we need the mech for that, and so that's another great reason of me getting that mech built very soon. Because that's gonna make resource gathering a lot easier. I'm gonna take this quartz because we just used a lot. That was gold. Uh, many weird sounds around me, I'm a little bit stressed out, and the music is not helping. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, grab this quartz, grab this. I mean, this is honestly what I wanted to find. Something like this. I can have some more quartz. I can always drop it if I find other interesting stuff. I wanted to find stuff like this because, again, I am in need of resources. I just need to be able to find my way out again. This tube looks like it has some ores in it. So... Uh, where did I come from? Where? Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit creepy. I definitely want to get that, though. Um, just regenerate that. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. Going back in. You know what? I have this. Let's use it. Let's use it. There we go. Uh, okay, we should be good. I uh, don't know how much quartz I should take. I mean, I have limited space, but I, again, I can always drop it. But let's focus on some of the other resources, maybe. Titanium. Okay, it's not like there's a lot, actually. It's just quartz. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, look at that. That looks cool. With the lighting and whatnot through the water. That's actually really cool. All right. Uh, don't know if these guys are the stalkers, though. Like, these sharks. 
I haven't really been able to scan one as such. Uh, I'll take that. And I haven't really... Yeah, I haven't scanned one. I don't know if I dare try and get close to one maybe and scan it. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Hmm. Probably not. Don't know if I have to kill it in order to get it. Also don't know how much health it has. Ow. Okay. You know what? You do actually quite a lot of damage. Uh, I gotta go down with that route. I don't think. <laughs> uh, yeah. I will grab these because they are great sources of titanium though. Alright. Nice. Alright, let's get to that forest. Hello, hello. Here we are. Now, I know kinda what I'm looking for, but also... Not sure if I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> so, I haven't spent much time in this biome, really, so... Maybe we go down. Huh? Maybe we go down. I'm looking for some th sort of spore. What are you? Gold. I mean, if we have other resources around, that'd be kind of cool. And again, I'm looking for some sort of sp creature egg. <laughs> looking for some sort of spore. And I have a brief idea of how it looks, but... Whether or not I'm going to find that is a question. All right, that's... Oops, that's the hole. All I know is I should be able to find it... Oops, that's the hole again. I should be able to find it in this biome. Mushroom forest biome. So, time to start looking. Hello. Are these it? Nope, they're not it. Dang it. <laughs> that would have been nice. Three mushroom. Uh, oh. Three leech. That is not it either. Uh, oh. Nope. Wait. No, they just disappear. I do... I actually don't have that much space in my inventory. I think I'm gonna drop some of the quartz. Because... Yeah, tree spawn. Don't get anything from that. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I guess maybe it's rare. I don't know. Tree mushroom. Uh... That isn't it. <laughs> that isn't it. All right, so I have found, I've had no success finding them here. Another place where we should be able to find them is hopefully at life apart 19 or around there. So I'm going to toggle that so we can find it. Um, there we go. That is second officer Keen's last broadcast location. Until then, I do need to head back home though, get some water, and then we will head back out. And hopefully we will find it there. And maybe we can even find a cave system on the way that leads down. So we can actually get some diamonds and stuff. Because uh, we need that. And home sweet home. Thank you very much. Alright. Water. Unload this inventory so we can actually get more resources as well. That's a good idea. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Like that. And I should have water around here somewhere. Because I saved... Not a bunch, but I saved a bit. Um, somewhere. <laughs> there we go. Two water and... Yeah, I'll take the extra nutrition block as well. Uh, water, water. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, maybe some more water as well. I'll get prepared, then I'll see you when I'm ready. And we're heading for that life pod 19 area. So be right back. All right, almost ready to depart. I am, however, quickly making a beacon uh, because I just realized I actually didn't note down the location for that cave that we were in, which might have resources that we want to get uh, later down the road. 
Um, also, this is not fully repaired, which is not good. Can I not? For some reason, I, I'm having trouble repairing this thing while I'm here. But okay, let's go. I have water, I have food, I should have everything that I need. So we're gonna head to life pod 19, 300 meters depth. Uh, this should be good. And I have done more research, by the way, so I should be able to get the other uh, materials that I'm looking for. And one of these stalkers is actually one of it. Um, that seemed rude. But I need basically one of these stalkers. <laughs> I realized what I just did. That was so rude. Uh, I need one of these stalkers' teeth. And apparently, what I need to do to get it is... Well, there's a couple of different methods of doing it, but I unfortunately did not get it here. Um, so we will not do that at this point in time. I will go down here as well, because... Oh, wait, hello. This goes down below. Um, ooh, salt. I do need salt. And do I have my... I do have my sea glide. Perfect. That's just going to make life a lot easier. I do need salt. Uh, I can disable you. Oh, wow. Hello. Yeah, this is some depth. Let's go down and see what we got. Let's see what we got. This is basically the cave that I had found, isn't it? Yeah, this is the cave that I had found. Okay. That is good, though, because I did want to find that. Uh, what's this? What is this? Gold, special equipment, okay. And this is good, because lithium, this is lithium, and I'm pretty sure we can get maybe diamonds from the rock that I just broke. So I am definitely going to, oh, look at this stuff. Uh, magnetite. <gasps> I don't think I've actually had magnetite before. Have I found magnetite before? That's gold. Okay, okay. Uh, go up. Go up, go up, go up. What are you? I, 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 many eye fish here. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> uh, why? Also, why does this game keep like? Uh, oop! There we go. Diamond. Look at that. I mean, I, I would have found that out eventually as well on my own. Um, this is good right here. Salt and everything. Uh, I'm going to equip that beacon now. Uh, where's it? Beacon. Equip. Five. Boop. Can I rename? Edit beacon name. Um. Uh. Many resources. Cool cave. <laughs> I could I could have made that a lot cooler. Um. Do I go down here first? I think. It, ooh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. There we go. Lights on. Lights are on. Because I didn't really look for resources while I was down here. Oh, those are gonna be interesting. But I might as well. I should have. While I was down here. But I didn't. And I don't remember. I will have to would have to double check my notes. Yikes. Don't know why I'm this close to this, but I know think that there are resources that I need, but I don't see any. And I definitely can't stand this kind of heat. I don't think the Seamoth can either. What's this? Magnetite rock, basically. Okay. Well, I guess primarily I'm looking for these, which contains diamonds. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything for us here. <laughs> so let's just... Um, Get up real quick. Just look around. There's some more ores over here. I will grab these. Because we're here anyway. And let me equip the sea glide. That's going to need a new battery very soon. This is a bit tense. This is a bit tense, actually. Oh, but look at that, though. I wonder... How close to this I can get? I can't. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if there's anything down there. I'm just. Oop. I'm just very curious. And right now, 
probably too curious. Um, you know what? Can I grab you? I can. Okay. Let's see what kind of food we can make with that. <laughs> uh, can I have two of you, please? How much? Yeah, I only take one small edible prey fish. Right. I would like to find more stuff, but we can always come back. I want to get to the life part 19. That's the beacon. We can move towards that. Again, if we find something interesting, we'll stop and grab it. But I think for now, we should try and get up out of here on or to our destination. Okay, sealed door, sealed door two. We'll probably clean a lot of that up. I have part 19 and the proposed the gassy habitat. That's where we want to go, basically. I do want to go down here. All this is quartz, right? Yeah, we have plenty of quartz. Okay. Quartz is not something that we are lacking at the moment. But ruby, on the other hand, is. So, we need to keep an eye out for that if we can find that somewhere. Titanium. This. Oh, hello. Oh, I think I've been here, actually. But I haven't... Nope. Okay. Uh, change to battery. There we go. Need to make more batteries as well. I was about to say I don't have a lot of copper, and I just got a little bit of copper, so that's nice. Eye store. Ooh, those are eyes. I just realized those look like eyes. Not cool. What is this? Lithium deposit. Great. Well, there's a lot of resources here, actually. I guess I just had to go searching more. <laughs> That's cool. Nope, those are spiky guys. I don't like them. Get that. Get the silver. Get out of here. All right, back to the sea moth. All right, here we go. This just got very, very dark and very, very creepy all of a sudden. Like, look at this. I don't know if it uses battery. If this stuff uses battery when it's not on. I guess we can test with the flashlight. Like, I have the flashlight on now. Let's keep a note of that. Let's see what happens to it eventually. Okay, and there we go. Get you. I do apologize for the, bar for the darkness, but, um... Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Alright. I'll see you over here. Unless something tries to eat me before I get there. Have I been to this place? Like, have I been to this life part before? Because I don't remember going through a cave to get it. Or maybe this is just a big ravine. Oh, yeah, I've been here. I remember this place. Weird and creepy. Okay, and how have I missed a pe- Have I been here? How did I find that? How did I not- Integrate. Lightpod detached to a cave planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain. Oh dear. How have I not found that before? Okay, Ruby. Uh, but how have I not found that before? That's weird. Huh. Anyway, what I'm looking for is that weird spore thing. So that should be in this area. According to Viki stuff. Power cell charger. Fr Please tell me that I can make this. I need two. What are you? Creature egg. Right. Oh, look at this. Diamond? Hey, hey, diamond. Right. I'm looking for spore things. Um, I'm not seeing any. Getting extra ruby, though, which is good. I'm not seeing what I actually came here to get. 
which is a bit worrying. Gold. Inventory full. Excuse me? Oh dear. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll take it. And there's no really point of me gathering anything else until I find... Oh, but this is... Lithium. Uh, I'll take lithium. Lithium's important. Wait. Please hold. Please hold. Yes! This is what we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we're looking for. I need to drop you. Uh, let's first of all scan it. This is what we were looking for. I am so happy that we found it. <laughs> okay, uh, and I'm pretty sure we don't pick it up. We do that because then we have gel sack spores. Um, I can drop maybe some... You know what? I have plenty of titanium. There we go. Three of those. So I didn't pick it up because I want to grow it. Okay. Uh, and before we get out of here and before we drown. Yep. Thank you. I do think we should check out this area a little bit more. Not that I have more inventory space. That's another one over there. That's actually multiple. So I could go ahead and grab what I want. Um, I could eat these. Ugh. That's disgusting. Uh, I could drop this, but I want to be able to charge them eventually, so... Do I have any space in this? I do not. <laughs> I don't know how big this has got to be. Pick up. Okay, I could pick it up. Great. So that means... that I'm close to having everything that I need. Oh, there's so many here. I really, really need to have, like, this needs... Oh, hello. This needs noting down. That's another ruby. Um, okay, life part 19. I need one of those. I, I need another beacon. I could go and fetch a beacon and then... No, I can't because that's the, that's the one I just placed. Okay, we'll have to remember that. Next I need... We're gonna go back home, dump all this stuff back at base. And then the next thing that I need are stalker teeth. <laughs> Which is gonna be very interesting to try and get. Home sweet home. We're back. Thank you, Habitat. Alright, let's go ahead and dump all this stuff out of here. Because uh, we need inventory space. Yep, put it all in here. We'll need some of that salt to go ahead and make some uh, more water. But for now, we are good. Okay. We have that. We can go ahead and go to this place. Use planter. We can add this here. And those should now be growing. Basically. And now... I don't know if the aerogel has actually been added to our thing. It has. Which is basically that and ruby. But we need more. So I kind of need to either wait for those to grow or go back. So I guess what I could do is go ahead and make another uh, beacon real quick. I could go and fetch a beacon instead, though, because we have sealed door. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to save the copper, actually. Go and fetch one of those instead. I will need to make some more water. I do want to try and cook this and see what we get. Is it going to be delicious is the question. Let's see. Uh, ooh, that's actually good. High in fluids, low calorie count, how to keep down. Hmm. That's actually a good food source. I need to try and remember to not eat that. <laughs> right. Um, okay, this, this is actually great. I need to quickly grab a bunch of the salt. Boom, boom, boom. And I guess while those are growing, uh, we're going to try and get some stalker tooth. Which is going to be very inter interesting to try and get, because, yeah, the process is interesting, to say the least. Oh, wait, I just remembered. I remembered. Hold on. I remembered all of a sudden. We need to make, wherever it is, we need to make the, um, the water filtration thing. We can make one aerogel. We can make one aerogel. That's going to be worth it. Hold on. Uh, where is it? We are basically... We, we, we gotta get more. We can get more, okay? Um, that and a ruby. Okay, that basically makes it so we can go ahead and do this. 
Okay, that's one aerogel. Then need some copper wires, which I think I have laying around here somewhere. Yep, there we go. Copper wiring. Then three titanium, which we do have. And we can go ahead, or should be able to go ahead and grab habitat builder. And go ahead and put down a uh, zero pieces. Water filtration machine. Why? Huh? Oh, I need it on a thing. Interesting. Um, well, I mean, I'm not using this much. So I guess and pick that up. Why can you not go there? Oh, you can use how? I'm very confused. It's like it wants to go there, but also doesn't. Indoor grow bed. What if I deconstruct you? How are you then going to react? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think we can place it here. That's fine. I'm not really using that melon thing anyway. Okay. Oh, I didn't even think of the health strength. <laughs> okay, I can eat that. Good food. Water filtration machine. Hmm. Right. I mean, this is going to use power, obviously. I don't know... Oh, wait. That was a progress bar. Filtra filtration progress. Water 4%, salt 9%. So I guess it generates salt and water? That works for me. Okay, cool. I'm very happy we made that, finally. Uh, now I just need to make a bunch of bleach, still. <laughs> All right, then. Stalker teeth. Tooth teeth. Wait, they're almost grown already. That's awesome. Uh, I kind of want to go to that sealed door. I'm pretty sure we have stalkers in that direction as well. And I need to find something while I'm out and about as well. Which is going to be interesting because I need to find a uh, scrap. I think it's called or whatever it's called. I need scrap. Ba basically metal salvage that we would get a lot of titanium from normally. I need to find that. All systems online. Otherwise I will have to use my Seamoth and get that damaged, which I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. look at that. We actually will have stalkers in this area. Sorry, fella. Uh, right. Let's get that beacon first, get that sealed door, and then try and get some stalker teeth afterwards. All right, so I noted down. Oh, hello. Oh, look at this. We actually have both a stalker. Uh, two. Hi. And also, <gasps> hello. Pick up beacon. Stalker tooth. Metal salvage. You are not well, are you, my friend? Oh, that does not look good. Uh, yeah, ba okay, well, the process has been made for us, but basically what you do is you have metal salvage, you drop it, and these stalkers will try and pick it up, and sometimes when they do, they'll lose a tooth when doing it. Or a tooth will be left when they're done. Basically. I'm gonna try and follow this one. Okay, so nothing, nothing here for this, but there's another one here. Uh, more metal salvage. And, okay, I have the scanner out because I... Ew. That's not a good sound, is it? <laughs> Sorry, friends. I need your teeth for some weird reason. I need it. Okay. I have the beacon. Let's uh, see about that door, shall we? Don't try to pick up my sea moth. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, sealed door. Right. Hello. I should have my laser cutter with... I didn't bring my laser cutter. I thought I brought my laser cutter. Well, I'm pretty sure I have had access to that anyway. Because you could either break through it directly, or you can usually go around... ...somehow. Um... Except for this instance where you can't. Well, I feel like I need to leave the beacon here, because there could be something interesting. Yep, I'm going to have to leave the beacon. I'll have to grab the other beacon instead. There we go. Uh, yep, sealed door too. Yep, okay. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got the stalker teeth. I think we have one, two, three. Is three enough? I'm hoping three is going to be enough for now. Otherwise, we know easily how to get it. More salt deposits. I'll grab that on my way back. And I actually think, ladies and gentlemen, that we now have what we need. If I'm not mistaken. To finally make the mech. Wow. This feels weird. <laughs> that actually went a lot easier than I thought it would. Alright, let's pack this here. And... The Ching. And let's think. Uh, okay. I'm going to need one, two aerogel glass, whatever it's called. Which means I need two rubies, so that's one. And two. Then I need two of you, which I already have lead, basically. I need two diamonds, which I already should have somewhere, or also have somewhere. Then I need to make glass, which is basically quartz. I uh, don't know how many quartz per glass, so that is one. Or two, sorry, two quartz per glass. I think that's all I need, if I'm not mistaken. So put you away, put you away. Okay. I can remove you. And I need to harvest my gel thingy. Of which I need one. No. One. Two. And then get seeds from this one. Weird. Warning. Emergency power only. What? Warning. Emergency power only. What? Production offline. <clears throat> Why did this place all of a sudden become extremely creepy? I know why we ran out of power. And now I need to think about how we are actually going to make power because we now have the water filtration machine. We don't have the nuclear reactor. We don't have that. Uh, we need a bioreactor. I think we could probably solar panel. Well, that's only at night. Duh. Converts heat to energy at medium efficiency. Don't have that. I mean, we could somehow. That would actually be a very interesting. I'm going to pin that. Because I think that could be a very interesting project. Because we have the thermal vents fairly close to us. Down at the um, down there. Only a couple hundred uh, meters away. Obviously, it's down below, but that is down below. No, that's at the top. So, maybe like 400 meters away. If we could do that, that would be kind of cool. Um, but right now, I guess a bioreactor is something that we need to make as well. Which I don't have what I need for. Free titanium, wiring kit. I don't remember how to make a wiring kit. Uh, that's here. Wiring kit. That's just two silver. That's easy enough. But I also do not have oxygen, so I need to... Oh, I can't use the fabricator. Right. Uh, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Let's get in here. This should have power. Haven't been in here in a while, have we? Uh, resources, electronics, wiring kit. I don't think I have lubricant. And to make lubricant, we may we need creepvine scene cluster, which I should be able to get down here. Emergency power, huh? This game is very creepy at dark <laughs> or at night. It's extremely creepy. I don't know if I like it, but it's what we got to deal with. There we go. Just one. Power restored. Oh, it's getting daytime. Sick. Phew. Okay. So basically, the bioreactor can help us during the night. That's good. Okay. I guess it's because also this thing is getting charged. Thank you. Good to know it actually has sensors. If something were to come up out of the water, we would know. I'm happy with that. But look at the power struggling. Ooh. Um, right, let's make the lubricant. That's going to use some power as well. So we can make the bioreactor. Um, that's cool. 
I need to go ahead and then get go down. Solar power panels. How do you make those? Because I feel like quartz copper. We'll probably use a couple extras, you know? So that's one quartz. Two titanium. Where's my quartz? I had I had a lot. I know I have a lot somewhere. <laughs> quartz. How do I run? No, nope, there we go. And then Oh, we have so much copper. Hello. Okay, Habitat Builder. Where are you? Habitat Builder. There it is. Get outside. Yeah, we are we already have quite a few actually. Wow. Uh exterior modules, solar panels. Let's build one here. I think I made it so that I can make three. Yep. Then we'll put another one up here, I suppose. Right there. This should help with our power situation. I guess I'll put one over here as well. Something. Yeah, it's not. That's not important. Uh. Huh. But I have enough. Okay, that's fine. Okay, back to the project at hand. I need to make uh, an imminent glass, something. And I need to make two aerogel. That's one, two. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we have, uh, we have everything that we need to make the mech. I I don't know what we're gonna do when this is done. Like, um, I assume we would need another, not last room, another moon pool for keeping the uh, the mech in. We also definitely need more structural support, which we now have a lot of titanium. We should actually be able to. I don't know why I have this much titanium on me. But we should be able to, like, have foundation. That's lead. Ooh, lead. I don't like that. Lead. Lead, lead, lead. We have one, two, so I can make one. I don't have a lot of lead. Two lead per foundation. So right now I can make three foundation. I just, while I remember it, I just want to try and do some of the stuff, you know? Foundation. Boom. Okay. Um, yeah, putting some foundation over here would be good, for example. That will improve structural integrity. 2.5, for example. Just in case I mess up something, you know? And then things don't go according to plan. 2.5. 4.5. We could have a bunch of outdoor grow beds here as well. Maybe some power receiving station. Stuff like that. I think that was three. Okay. Um, that's good. We got that done. Ladies and gentlemen. Big moment. Big moment right here. Climb. Um, vehicles. Prawn suit. Hold on. We're right above the base. I kind of want to pick up. <laughs> it, uh, I, I think I want to relocate it to maybe like over here or something. A little bit further away. There we go. All right. Mobile vehicle bay. Vehicles. Sack drops has got to be cool. Okay. Self discipline. <laughs> this computer honestly is hilarious. Prawn suit. Hello. Ladies and, gentlemen, and ladies and gentlemen, name suggestions down below in the comments. ASAP. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I love that voice. It was right. Limited, limited, unlimited power. Right. Okay, so it has propulsion. So it's basically a jump. 
Okay. That's cool. Can it run? I don't think it can run. Okay. Uh, can I add this here? If I go out and remove the Seamoth real quick. There we go. I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure this thing can go in there. I think. Can you imagine? Yep. Awesome. I need another garage. This is what I need. Okay. Let's take a look here. Um, submarine name, base name, interior stripe, etc. Let me know ideas down below in the comments. But now... I want to see what I can do here. Prawn suit depth module mark one. Nickel. I don't have nickel. Uh, prawn suit thermal reactor recharges power cells in hot areas. Does it stack? Don't even know what kind it is. Prawn suit torpedo arm. Ingredients unknown. Powerful rear mounted jets propel the prawn suit into the air. Right. Torpedoes. Uh. <laughs> Cool. Common modules, storage modules, uh, prawn compa compatible, so I need that. Prawn compatible, prawn compatible, okay. I need all this, basically. So, if I go in here, go to interior modules, miscellaneous, that's not it. I know there's a section for stuff here. So, whole reinforcements, energy efficient storage module. I want those. Um, indicators of technical explain. Why have I not made this for the Seamoth? I want that. Um, upgrading the depth is probably good, but I don't, again, don't have that. Seamoth solar charger. That would be cool. Polyaniline. Have we made that before? I feel like I have made polyaniline before. Hydraulic acid. Deep shroom and salt deposit. That's a big crafting list. But what I want to try now is can this... Can we finally harvest... I assume I need a drill. I assume I need a drill for this thing in order to be able to harvest. Um, oh yeah, we need to make the Neptune launch platform. Uh, in a, in a, in able to harvest um, stuff. Ooh. Wait, modification station. Huh? Seamoth depth module mark 2? I didn't see this. Where's the modification? Th Where's the modification? <clears throat> What's the modification station? Get up. Get up. Okay, this is difficult steering. You cannot steer while in the air. Good to know. Modification station. Modification. I've made the repulsion cannon. No, I made the propulsion cannon. What is the modification station? Solar thermal. None of those. Modification station. Uh, ingredients unknown. Okay, well, that's cool. I mean, that's, that is very cool. That's interesting. Right. I, I assume you need drill in order to operate this on, like, or deposits. Okay, yeah, I am correct. I do need a drill arm. However, where I find it, I don't know. I didn't look at that. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to call this episode here. We have this. In the next episode, I want to go down there, propose the gassy habitat. I want to make a bunch of upgrades for it, like storage, etc. Um, don't know if we do have storage, actually. I just can't actually balance myself enough to actually... There we go. Nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's just annoying. Get in. Get in. I, bruh. Tom. Tom. Okay. It doesn't like me right now. It hates me. 
hold on. I will. That's supposed to be solid. There we go. That's a big storage. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, I want to make uh, those upgrades. I want to upgrade the Seamoth as well. I want to I wanna make stuff. And then we're going to the Degassi Habitat. And that's going to be cool. And then we'll see what happens. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. What did I get lubricant for? I was going to make something. But I don't... I don't remember what that was. Uh, huh. Well, I'll figure that out. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. That's it. That's... Huh. 50 water. Okay. That was so weird. Everyone, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day, and goodbye.